a newly identified human virus may be important in disease. Welcome to Microbial Minutes, ASM's update on what's hot in the microbial sciences, the periodontitis virus edition. I'm Julie Wolf, and today we'll be talking about a paper from Cell Host and Microbe in which scientists have identified a new DNA virus that may be involved in periodontitis. Now, viruses are the most abundant biological entity on Earth, but many remain uncharacterized. Sequencing has allowed a lot, uh, many more viruses to be identified, but is usually limited to sequences that have homology or similar sequence to known sequences, known viruses, for example. And that's what we're going to rely on in this study today, where we're going to discuss a circular rep encoding single-stranded or CRESS DNA virus. These viruses are character-branded DNA genome, and their rep encoding sequence, uh, that is a replication initiation protein sequence uh, that is found within this virus group. The, uh, excuse me, the scientists in this study were looking at metagenomic samples, so that's all the DNA, the human DNA and all the microbial DNA as well, from patient fluid samples. Uh, and by finding this um, similarity to the rep gene, they were able to identify to, uh, and put together two entire viral genomes uh, in a new virus family that they called redondoviridae or redondoviruses. They then used the sequences that they had assembled and looked through previous metagenomic analyses um, of a variety of different types uh, and found that this redondo virus was specific only in human um, studies. On the next slide, we'll see some of the, the data that they were able to accumulate. Very interestingly, all of this was done simply by looking at sequences uh, without actually culturing the virus itself. So in the top graph, we're looking at the, the identified viruses and where those redondoviruses were found. As I mentioned, they were not found in animal or environmental studies, uh, but were found predominantly in human samples. And within the different human niches, which they interrogated, uh, they, they found the redondoviruses were most commonly found in virus, or I'm sorry, in respiratory tract and oropharyngeal um, samples, as you can see. The redondoviruses were the second most prevalent eukaryotic DNA viruses in these sites. Uh, and I'm specifying eukaryotic DNA viruses because, of course, we also carry a number of DNA bacteriophage that can uh, infect the bacteria that make up part of our microbiome. They then looked at the qualities of the, the patients from whom these redondoviruses were, were found, uh, uh, cultured, I want to say, but they weren't really cultured. They were, they were found uh, by sequence. Uh, and what they observed was that there were some redondoviruses that were found within healthy individuals, as uh, demarked with the green boxes in those bar graphs there in the different niches that were looked at, but that the most uh, prevalent patient condition under which these were found were patients that have periodontitis, shown in the, the red uh, bar with the, in the oral um, samples there. They also noticed that as patients were treated for periodontitis and the disease um, lessened, that the viral abundance decreased, suggesting that there may be a role for redondoviruses either in periodontitis disease development or maintenance. However, those studies have yet to be done to confirm that role. In the next slide, we'll see that this was picked up in a couple of technical outlets. Uh, it was found in Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News, who quoted the senior scientist Fred Frederick Bushman as saying that the majority of the sequence data that we have so far remains unclassified, leaving us much work to do in order to better understand the human virome. This was also released as a press release that was picked up by phys.org. Uh, and another scientist involved in the study, uh, Ronald Coleman, stated that we are asking whether we can take unknown DNA sequences and make sense of it by identifying new viruses from the whole universe of sequences in the human virome. I'm sure that there will be more studies on redontoviruses as the scientific team develops ways to culture and further study this particular new virus family. Be sure to subscribe to Microbial Minutes so that you can always catch that new, those new updates. Uh, in today's session, we've learned that a new DNA virus makes up a large part of the human oral virome. I'd like to thank you for listening and thank Ray Ortega for production. I'm Julie Wolf, and I'll be with you next time on Microbial Minutes.